Okay, so today we're going to talk about the Contour Roam. We're going to do an audio test between the Contour Roam and my GoPro Hero 3, uh, the Contour Roam 3, that is. Um, first, I want to give you a little bit of background as to why I bought the Contour Roam 3 and why I think it's going to be a better uh, uh, better camera for fishing and just compare it a little bit to the GoPro Hero 3. But if you don't care about me and you don't care about fishing and you're here just for the, uh, the audio test between my GoPro Hero 3 and the Contour Roam 3, Feel free to skip to the end of this video. I'll have a link in the description that goes directly to the audio test, so you can skip ahead there. So, bought this thing, picked it up for a hundred bucks on Amazon. Um, from it, it wasn't from Contours, from an, another vendor that also included some other really cool stuff. I was about to put about a hundred dollars uh, worth of, of of new equipment into my GoPro Hero Three. Reason being, um, the audio in my videos, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that the audio in my videos sucks, and I feel like audio is very important for fishing videos. Um, I myself am frustrated by my own videos on YouTube because I gotta turn my speakers up to you know 100% in order to hear me, to hear the fish peel and drag or whatever, and then you, know, you watch another video and then it's blaring. It's very annoying. Um, so I was looking into ways to get better audio out of my GoPro, and you need to buy different housing. The skeletal housing will improve the the audio, and if you want really good audio, you want the the housing that's just a frame. And the problem with those housings is they make it so your camera is no longer waterproof. And uh, I mean, again, for fishing videos, uh, I'm on the river. I'd, what if I drop it in the river? Also, most of the time I'm fishing in the rain or the mist or you know the fog, whatever. Um, so I wasn't too keen on, on fishing without a 100% waterproof camera, but I was going to do it just for the better audio when I was turned on to the Contour Roam. And uh, I, I was turned on to this thing by another fishing channel, a uh, guy who fishes uh, a little bit east of me, Tim Galetti, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but he has some really awesome fishing videos with decent audio, and you can hear him talking, and the fish, and everything that's going on, and his videos are just great, so um, I decided to look into these contours, and I found that really, they're much better fishing cameras, honestly. Um, so uh, I, I can show you, first of all, the, the audio on these things, they're waterproof without a case, they're waterproof up to 30 feet, you don't need a case for them to be waterproof. Uh, the mic's right there. Again, it's just a little tiny hole, but uh, it's good enough and it's significantly better than the GoPro when the GoPro's in that waterproof housing. I don't want to say it's the best audio in the world, but it's a lot better than the GoPro in the waterproof housing and it's waterproof and it's probably some of the best audio you'll get uh, for an action camera. There's really not any action camera that's quite perfect for fishing that I know of. But, I mean, GoPro has the best marketing. They say that they're the best for fishing. One of my friends told me when I when I was going to buy the GoPro, you know, do your research. There's more economical cameras out there that uh, will serve your purpose and potentially serve your purpose even better. I really wish I'd have listened to him because um, the GoPro is sort of frustrating for making fishing videos. Um, we'll see how this thing works this spring, but I think you're going to see the audio quality on my videos improve tremendously. The other thing that's really cool about this thing is it's got a laser on the back, just a one-touch button, and it activates this little laser. There it goes. And uh, it's really meant for... It's got The other cool thing is it's got this rotating lens. Um, so the rotating lens is to, to, uh, to make sure that you're... And that this lateral uh, laser is to make it so... Um, so your video is upright no matter where you mount it, but it's also great for fishing because um, while it's on my head, I can just press that laser button and it'll shoot that laser and I'll know exactly what the camera is pointing at. I've had so many videos with the GoPro that I've just had to scrap because, again, the audio is terrible and you couldn't see anything because I had the camera pointing too high or pointing too low. With this thing, it's going to be a lot easier to know that I'm pointing in the right direction. The other thing that makes it, I think, a better fishing camera um, is the one touch on off. Just click it like that, turns on, and starts recording. On, recording, just like that. Um, you know it's recording as long as it's pushed forward. Uh, you know, with the GoPro, you gotta first, you gotta turn it on by holding down this button. Sometimes you gotta fight with it, there it goes. Then you gotta press this button up here to actually start recording. 
and it's usually on record first, but you know sometimes the, this button gets touchy and it'll switch over to, to camera or time lapse or something like that. And here I think you know I just recorded uh, this awesome video of the biggest you know bass I ever caught or whatever. And then I find that there's just a few still frames of it because I press this button too many times when I'm trying to turn it on. So most of the time I keep it on all the time while I'm fishing. That way it's quicker to you know hit this button when I get a fish on and. Um, again, that wastes battery with this thing. It just goes from off to on every time you hit that, and there's no fighting with it. I really think that this is going to be a much better fishing camera. Um, I'll show you what all it came with. For 100 bucks, you cannot beat this. So this is everything that it came with. This right here is exactly what you'd get if you ordered it directly from Contour, or if you bought it in the store. Obviously came with the Contour Roam 3 um, video camera. Also came with some other stuff came with a nice little carrying bag. It's got a little lens cleaner in it too, which is nice. Uh, your basic mounts. Also came with an eight gigabyte micro SD card, which uh, it's not a class 10. I'm not currently using it, but I'm sure I'll find a, a use for it. You can never have too many micro SD cards just as a backup or, or whatever. Um, little strap to carry it with. I uh, also came with a little contour sticker and your basic, you know, cables. Pretty basic, um, I guess comparable to what the GoPro comes with. Um, here, however, is what it came with with the vendor that I bought it from. It was uh, beach cameras or something like that, and they threw in all this cool stuff for, for free. Again, it was 100 bucks for all of this. And I can show you right there is what I paid what I paid for it. Come on, focus. There, that's what I paid for it. Killer deal. Um, no, now it's going to be all confused. All right, focus. All right, so it came with this nice little bag, uh, which is nice. Again, I'm sure I'll find a use for it, tackle or, or, or something, or even to carry the camera in, who knows. Uh, also came with a 32 gigabyte class 10 micro SD card, in addition to the SD card that the Contour itself came with inside the, you know, the Contour Roam package. Um, so yeah, this is great. I was going to buy one of these things, again, just to update the GoPro, and that's part of the reason why when I saw this deal on the internet for 100 bucks, I was going to put 100 bucks worth of stuff into the GoPro just to make the GoPro better for fishing. And I decided, you know, why do that when I can get a whole nother camera with better audio, better everything for fishing, and it comes with the micro SD card. It just seemed like a much better deal. Really glad I did it. Uh, it also came, of course, with a selfie stick, which uh, I can use that with my GoPro. It's got an adapter on there. Uh, so you can use it with the Contour or any other action camera as well. So really a killer deal. I think I paid 200 it might have even been 300 I don't even remember, just for the GoPro Hero 3 alone. White edition, this is the middle of the line GoPro. Didn't come with any SD card, any mounts or anything. It might have came with some very basic mounts that you could stick like the ones that that one came with. But, um, I mean, didn't come with a selfie stick or anything cool like that. So... Uh, again, I think that this is a much better deal, especially as a fishing camera, but just as an action camera in general, I really think that the Contour Roam 3 is the better deal. So without further ado, we'll get to the audio test that I promised. Okay, now for the audio test. A couple of important notes to make here. Um, this is with the mic sensitivity on this turned all the way up, which you need to plug it into the software. Um, that you download from the internet in order to to, uh, to do that. I don't believe it's the default setting. Um, I don't remember, but it is with the mic sensitivity all the way up on the Contour Roam. So keep that in mind. Also keep in mind, this is a GoPro Hero 3 White Edition. The newest GoPro is the GoPro Hero 4, which supposedly uh, is better for audio. But again, I found finally where the mic is just that tiny little hole. And when it's in that thick housing... I don't think that it's really any more sensitive in the housing. So first we're going to test the GoPro compared to, to this, just this not in the case. Um, it's going to be what we're going to do first, compare it to this. And then we're going to, again, compare the GoPro in the waterproof housing to the Contour Roam. So those are going to be our comparisons, see, how, uh, see what kind of difference it makes. Okay, sound check. This is the GoPro not in the housing. This is probably actually going to have the best audio of our test here. Um, the GoPro does is pretty sensitive to audio, but not when it's in the waterproof housing. So, again, this is the GoPro not in the housing. This is sound check one. Okay, sound check. Sound check one, two, three. This is the Contour Roam. Um, audio is probably not quite as good as the GoPro. But again, this is waterproof as it stands, just like this. 
and uh, we'll see how it compares to the GoPro once the GoPro's in its waterproof housing. Okay, sound check. This is the GoPro in its waterproof housing. You probably have to turn your, your uh, speakers up because the audio is probably going to be the worst audio right here. So in this way you can see how it compares to the Contour. And uh, thanks for watching the video.